So, I've been thinking a lot about this whole, like, what people do wrong to mess up their houses. And, you know, I know everyone starts with great intention. And I also, like, I listen to people, my clients, I listen to their approach to how they decorate before they get frustrated and hire me. And here's what I've observed. So you think that you're going to be in a color palette. Maybe the color palette is, hmm, I'm feeling gray, so I'm gonna do some grays and blues. Well, they literally stay with one shade of blue and one shade of gray. And it's a huge mistake. Like I laughingly but truthfully say, even if you're going with a monochromatic color scheme, no room should have less than six colors in it. Now, do I mean that the walls should be striped? Do I mean, no, of course not. The color can be very, very, very subtle, but you have to have depth. You have to have dimension. Think of it this way. If an artist sits down to paint a painting, this is a painting, in no way would the artist use two colors. Because if she did, or he did, the painting would just be flat and you can't quite finish and you, can't, you don't know where to go. For example, I had a client I was working with yesterday who was thinking blue and white. Well, of course, blue and white is a great beginning for a color scheme, but you gotta take it somewhere else. And what six colors would I use if I were working in a blue and white room? Well, I might use blue and white, I might use blue and white in a big way or a small way. But then I might think about the color wheel and add primaries, but I might add them in unusual ways. And then I'm always going to throw a twist of something that is completely unexpected. So if you get a little scared, you can always look to paintings or to fabric for inspiration. For example, this fabric has, wow, three shades of yellow right here, two shades of green. I'm seeing orange, I'm seeing red, I'm seeing a soft aqua blue, a deeper aqua blue, a darker blue, a black, wow. And so if you were to get stumped, you could take any of these colors, you could even go neutral on your walls. This might only end up being a pillow. If you're bold and dramatic, it might be window treatments. If you just want a touch of it in a big way, it might be on a chair but you can pull from this in so many different directions. If I were working with this fabric, my unusual twist would be I'd pull out black and white. I know that sounds crazy, but I would pull out black and white. I might actually use this painting somewhere in the room. I would throw in a little green, but I would use, say, a black and white zebra rug or a black and white stripe rug. Um, I'd have a lot of fun with this um, because the fabric is so fun itself. So sometimes when you get stumped, you can rely on something like this, but it's real important that you don't stay in this little two color color palette. Um, even three dimensional is not quite enough. So think about really expanding. If you're working in all white, that's great. Do you know how many shades of white there are? In Ben Moore alone, 144. So you gotta mix it up and you gotta add depth to that color. Hope that makes sense. Good luck with all your projects.